So today I'm going to use my Atomstack S10 Pro to show you how to make this so you can make this better and have this as a reference guide for whatever you use on this same kind of material. So I'm going to get into the software and I'll show you how I made both of these. Okay, so I'm in my version of Lightburn here and this wood that I'm using on this is five millimeter thick approximately hard maple. It was just some cut off wood that I had that was the right thickness so I just used this for uh, making a few test parts and I was playing around with making my logo and I was unsure about all my settings so I decided to make this run this little test to show me what's my best settings on what I can get the best results in the shortest amount of time. That's what I'm looking for. So what I did here is I've got eight squares across here and all these squares right here will be cutouts. And each one is going to be at a different setting. So this one's going to be at 300 millimeters per minute at 80% with three cuts. 300 millimeters a second at 80% at four cuts. 300 at 90% at three cuts and so on all the way across here. <clears throat> so what my goal is to look to see what is the fastest that I can run and still get a good clean cut. And then these little rectangles right here are going to be for fill, for doing the letters or whatever that you want to do fill work with. And these are settings at 2,500 uh, at 30%, 2,500 at 35%, 3,000 at 35%, and so on across here. So when this thing's cut out, these will be cut out squares, and then these will be shades. And I'll be able to look at that board and tell what is my the best quality I can get at the for the quickest time, the quickest settings that I can put that it will like right now this whole thing uh, it takes ten minutes and fifty nine seconds to run the way I've got it set up for this board. But this is I'm not worried about how long this takes to run. This is just showing me what I'm gonna have here, okay? So the way I've got this set up, if you want to set one up, so I made these eight squares, and if I highlight this first square right here, it comes over here, and it lights up or it darkens and highlights this one right here. So if I double-click that one, you can see I've got a 300 millimeters a minute at 80% at three cuts, and then I got it in line mode, because you want line mode if you're going to cut out, you want fill mode if you're going to just darken it in. So that's what I have set for that one. And we'll look at one more of those. The green one is right here. It highlights the green one. So I got 300 millimeters a minute, 80% line mode, and I have four passes on that one. So each one of these is set up at what the, the numbers beneath it say. So then when I come up here, these are going to be my fill boxes. So if I highlight that one, that's this one right here. So I open it up. It's at 2,500 at 30, uh, 2,500 millimeters a minute at 30% power, and it's in fill mode. And I don't mess with any of these. These are all the factory settings. I usually don't mess with those. Uh, I just haven't figured out anything that's any better than what the factory setting is on that. I tried messing with them one time and I ended up making it worse. So I just leave those alone for now. So then. Close that one, and we'll open one more. So that highlights this one right here. 2,500 at 35% at fill, and all these other settings stay the same. So, and then I got a line here. It's a cutout line. It's down here at the bottom. It's going to cut out at 350 at 90%. It'll cut the whole board out. And that's pretty much it. So this is on my... Uh, five millimeter hard maple. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to run this into my Atom Stack S10 Pro laser and we'll cut this out and we'll see how long it's going to. I know we know how long it's going to take. We already looked at that. It's going to take about 10, 10, 11 minutes to cut it out. But then we can take it and look at the quality, see how good of cuts they made at these different speeds and see how good the fill was at all these different speeds and power settings. So let's take it out to the machine and we'll cut it out and we'll see what it looks like.
Okay, that's it. Let's pull this thing off and see what it looks like. Well, the square came out good. And all of the blocks came out but one. And it's almost through. That one's loose. I'm going to leave that one like that. Okay. Okay, so here we are back in Lightburn, and this is my actual logo that I want to cut out. And so from looking at my cutouts, so this is my line right here. It's going to cut out the outside of the saw blade and the center of the saw blade. And when I click on that, it highlights this one. So it is at 350.90. And from looking at my little chart that I made, the 350.80 at three cuts seem to be the quickest one because it's only three cuts and it still made a nice clean cut. So I'm going to go the 350 millimeters a minute at 80% power in line mode and three passes. So that's what I'm going to go with for the outside and then for my fill mode for my letters I have these are old settings from when I ran this thing one time before. So honestly my my 4050, the very end of my spectrum, that was my darkest cut, and it's my fastest cut because it moves at 4,000 millimeters a minute, so that should lessen my time. And we're going to go at 50 and at fill mode, and then we're going to leave all these the same. So we've got 4,050, which is the, the fastest of my, uh, my fill modes on my test cut. And then 350 over 80, which is the fastest. It's just less power to get a good clean cut. And it's at three passes instead of four, which will shorten my time a little bit. So let's go up and look. And this was 836. I think the first time I ran this, it was somewhere in the, in the neighborhood of 11 minutes or something. So I did knock some time off by going speeding up my fill my fill power and then moving down to a, a three uh three pass count on my my line cut there okay so i'm going to send this to the machine and we'll cut this part right here out Okay, let's pull this off and see how it did. Well, my cut through was just a little bit weak. <clears throat> see how my circle did? Okay, so my cut through is just a little bit weak, but I'll go over those parameters and we'll fix that. So I'll sand this up, clean it up a little bit, and then we'll take a look at both of them at the end. Okay, so here's my final product. And the uh, I'm real happy with the etching. It came out nice and dark. And then I just did some sanding on the back and took out the, the little burrs basically that were left where that thing didn't cut all the way through. So going back to my chart here, if you come in here and look at this, I went with the 4050 uh, on the fill, which gave me, the, it's hard to tell by looking at this thing on the, on the camera, but this one looks about the same. They really all look pretty close to the same. But so I went with the 4050 because that gave me the least amount of time to burn with. So it's running at 4,000 millimeters a second or millimeters a minute at 50 uh, percent power it gave me pretty much the same color as what if I just ran 2500 millimeters so that knocked down my time if you're doing a big project that could make a big difference 
Now, as far as the cutouts on my, uh, the speeds in the powers on my cutouts, if you come back there and look at the back of this, I don't know how well you can see it. This one right here is the cleanest look on the back that cut all the way through. This is the one that didn't cut all the way through. And it, it pushed out, so it did cut all the way through, but this is the cleanest looking cut. And that is a 350 millimeters per minute at 80 times four. And I ended up going with this one here, the 350 80 times three. So all I need to do really to run this part again, I'll leave this setting the same at 40 uh, and 50% or 4,000 and 50%, but I will move this up to four passes on the 350 uh, at 80% times four. So that, that'd be the only change that I make and this thing will come out perfect. So anyway, I'm real happy with it. I really appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please share my videos. Thank you.